Hello babies! Welcome to Diaper Diaries, Mommy's original short stories. This is episode 25, Ra Ra Rachel. Now get your bot bot and blankie, relax, and enjoy the story. The Warsaw Mets cheerleading squad was known for their dedication and spirit. They practiced every day after school, perfecting their routines and building a strong bond of friendship. Rachel, one of the squad members, was particularly close to her mom, who often helped the team with their uniforms, traveling to games, and other needs. One day, during a particularly intense practice session, a few of the girls mentioned how inconvenient it was to take bathroom breaks during performances. Rachel's mom, always inventive and caring, came up with a unique solution. She designed a discreet, comfortable form of adult diaper that could be worn under their uniforms. This way, the girls wouldn't have to worry about finding a bathroom in the middle of a performance. She sewed the padding into a panty so it would blend in with the uniform when jumping. At first, the idea seemed a bit strange to the squad, but Rachel's mom explained how it would help them stay focused and confident during their routines. After some consideration, the girls decided to give it a try. They were surprised at how comfortable and practical the solution was. During their next big game, the squad executed their routine flawlessly, without any interruptions. The new addition to their uniform gave them the confidence to perform at their best, knowing they were prepared for any situation and could let out little tinkles when necessary. Wearing the diaper panty became a secret weapon for the team, helping them win several competitions and strengthening their bond even further. However, despair came when the squad was invited to perform at a national cheerleading competition. As they prepared for the big day, Rachel's mom received a mysterious letter. It was from a rival school's coach, who had somehow discovered their secret. The letter threatened to expose the squad's use of the adult diapers unless they withdrew from the competition. Rachel's mom and the squad were initially shocked and worried. They didn't want their secret to be used against them but they also didn't want to back down from the competition they had worked so hard for. They also didn't want to be bullied into not using their newfound comfort. After a team meeting, they decided to face the challenge head on. They informed the competition organizers about the situation and explained how the diapers were a practical solution to a common problem and essentially just an undergarment. To their surprise, the organizers were supportive and praised the squad for their honesty and innovation. The story quickly spread, and instead of being ridiculed or bullied, the squad received an outpouring of support from other teams and the public. The rival coach's plan backfired, and the Warsaw cheerleading squad went on to perform with even more confidence and pride. The squad took the floor with an air of confidence and excitement. The crowd's energy was palpable, and the girls fed off of it as they lined up in their starting positions. The music began with a powerful beat and the squad launched into their routine with synchronized high kicks and sharp arm movements. The first section of their routine showcased their incredible stunting skills. The bases lifted the flyers into the air with ease, forming perfect pyramids and executing flawless basket tosses. Rachel, one of the flyers, soared high above the crowd, her smile radiant as she performed a double twist before being caught securely by her teammates. Next, the squad transitioned into a series of tumbling passes. The girls flipped and twisted across the mat with precision and grace. Backhand springs, tucks, and layouts were performed in perfect unison, drawing gasps and cheers from the audience. The timing was impeccable and each move flowed seamlessly into the next. As the music shifted to a faster tempo, the squad moved into their dance segment. Their choreography was a blend of sharp, intricate movements and fluid, expressive dance steps. The girls' energy was infectious and their synchronization was spot on. They incorporated creative formations, weaving in and out of each other with practiced ease. The highlight of their routine came with a daring stunt sequence. The bases launched the flyers into the air for a series of complex, high-flying twists and stunts. The crowd erupted with applause as the flyers landed perfectly, their confidence shining through. The final section of their routine was a powerful cheer segment. The girls' voices rang out clearly as they chanted their school's name and rallied the crowd. Their movements were strong and precise, each cheer punctuated with high jumps and spirited motions. 
The routine ended with a dramatic pyramid, the flyers holding their poses high above the mat as the music reached its crescendo. Several of the girls released their warm liquid into their undergarments with much satisfying relief. As the last note of the music played, the squad struck their final pose, smiles beaming and arms raised in victory. The crowd's applause was deafening and the judges were visibly impressed. The Warsaw cheerleading squad had delivered a performance that was not only technically flawless, but also full of heart and spirit and wet diapers. Their winning routine was a testament to their hard work, dedication, and the innovative support of Rachel's mom. It was a moment of triumph that they would cherish forever. Rachel's mom's idea not only helped the squad perform better, but also taught them the importance of honesty, resilience, and standing up for themselves. After their triumphant performance, the squad was ecstatic. The moment they were announced as the winners, the girls erupted into cheers and hugs, tears of joy streaming down their faces. They had worked so hard for this moment, overcame malicious intentions, and it was finally over. To celebrate their victory, the squad went to have a special team dinner. Rachel's mom, who had been a huge part of their journey, had secretly decorated the restaurant with balloons and banners congratulating the team, and the atmosphere was filled with laughter and excitement. The girls shared stories and memories from their season, reminiscing about the challenges they'd overcome and the fun times they had shared. They toasted to their hard work, dedication, and the bond that had grown stronger with each practice and performance, but most of all, to the diapers. As an added surprise, Rachel's mom had arranged for a special cake for them. The girls cheered as the cake was brought out, and they took turns cutting slices and feeding each other. Even if they had not won, the cake was to be delivered to show them that putting your best foot forward in anything you do still makes you a winner. After dinner, the team gathered at Rachel's house for a sleepover. They watched movies, played games, and continued to celebrate their victory late into the night. They even had a mini dance-off in Rachel's living room, showing off their best moves and laughing until their sides hurt. Before they went to bed, the girls sat in a circle and shared their dreams and goals for the future. They knew that their victory was just the beginning, and they were excited to see what the next season would bring. They made a pact to always support each other no matter what challenges they faced. All the girls slept in diapers to commemorate the day's event and frankly, they were all so tired and exhausted that no one wanted to have to get up to go pee in the middle of the night. The celebration was a perfect end to an incredible journey and the girls knew that they would always cherish the memories they had made together. Their victory was not just about winning a competition, but about friendships, improvising, and experiences that would last a lifetime. The End I hope you enjoyed this episode of Diaper Diaries. Please like, subscribe, and join me for my other stories. Also, find links in the description below for my eBay store with ABDL goodies, buy me a coffee, Twitter, and erotic ebooks on Amazon Kindle. Good night, my babies!